I spent three years before coming to the Environmental Quality Board with the City of Elk River. Um, and I was fortunate enough to get that position uh, pretty much right away when I moved to Minnesota. Uh, I came the long way from Illinois to Wisconsin and then finally made it to the great state of Minnesota, which I absolutely love. So I was the environmental technician at the city of Elk River and through that role I was the Green Step Cities coordinator. And I was fortunate enough to come into Elk River um, at a level, we were step three. Um, already, so there had already been some great round groundwork laid from um, staff that had been in my position before me, and so it was an obvious um, next step for me to really continue up that ladder when steps four and five became available. Uh, and so I helped assist Elk River move on to step four uh, and implement a number of best practices uh, through the program with my time there, and since. Since leaving and coming to the EQB, Elk River has now made it to step five. Uh, so new staff are um, really uh, taking on that tradition that uh, Elk River has had in terms of sustainability work uh, at the community level. And um, so I think working in Elk River brings a perspective um, to the Green Step Cities program that um, can help assist the program really grow and develop further. Um, I, I can bring that perspective in terms of how city staff tend to operate um, or which department might be working on one specific best practice and who to be targeting um, our materials and technical assistance to, um, as well as being able to know who to network with um, and connect networks between uh, cities and I think that's something that we see a lot in the Green Step Cities program is not necessarily cities coming to Green Step staff um, and best practice advisors but cities going to other cities um, that have already done a certain project and so um, my role is kind of to keep an eye on those projects that are happening around the state and really being able to help cities network with each other as well as um, state resources and our other nonprofit partners um, in the program. The Environmental Quality Board, or like we like to call it, the EQB, um, is, m is actually a board, a state agency board, that is made up of nine um, state agencies or um, commissioners. Um, and so these are agencies that have to do with environmental um, topics. So we have the Pollution Control Agency, for example. Um, Department of Natural Resources is another one, um, and up to nine, so all commissioners that in some way, shape, or form are working with environmental issues. And then we also have, a. Um, right now we have five um, citizen members um, from around the state who are also on that board, and we are about to grow that number um, next year, so, so we'll see um, an addition to that por portion as well. Um, but the board itself works on all kinds of environmental issues from water quality, right now is a really big um, topic with the governor's 25% water quality improvement goal by 2025. Um, so you see a number of meetings going around the state um, in which the EQB staff are helping to support. And then um, other topics like um, silica sands and um, climate change are, are big topics still right now. And so um, we kind of take on these really big topics that go multi dimensional in terms of uh, different agencies that are a part of this and we bring them together to one table to really talk out those issues and make sure that they're being um, consistent with their work and there's no overlap and one agency isn't going this direction when another is going that. No, we're really kind of bringing that all full circle so that everyone's on the same page. So we have the board and then that board is supported by uh, a number of staff. We have our director, Will Soyfrit. Um, and then we have a number of support staff. So we, we have um, staff that are working on pollinator habitat. We have staff that are working on water quality issues. Um, we also, another big role that the Environmental Quality Board um, undertakes is environmental review. So anytime there's a large project that has some potential environmental impacts in the state of Minnesota, um, that has to undergo some, some uh, review as required by state statute. Um, to make sure that that project isn't harming our environment and um, the people that live in Minnesota. Um, 
without specific mitigation measures taking place in that project. And so uh, our staff also help assist with that. So the Environmental Quality Board uh, decided to join on as an official partner of the Green Step Cities program earlier this year. Uh, and, and you might be wondering why. Um, the environment is obviously in the name, and, and I think the Green Step Cities program has a lot to do with the environmental impacts and sustainability um, within that as well. And so the board obviously supports it in that role. Um, but the board and the Environmental Quality Board staff also support local governments, um, especially cities, in a number of other ways as well. The, the topics that Green Step Cities supports uh, our cities with uh, tend to follow right along with what the Environmental Quality Board is, is uh, working on as well. So you've got your land use topics and um, water issues and energy uh, is a really big one right now. And so there's a lot of overlap in, in what the board is working on um, and in terms of state work and state policy, state assistance, um, financial opportunities that the state might be offering. Um, and so that's why the Environmental Quality Board uh, brought on my position as local government coordinator to kind of bridge that gap between state work and environmental and sustainability efforts and the needs of local governments. I'm really excited to work with all of cities across all of Minnesota. Um, I'm happy to help network and connect you to any resources and questions that you may have. I may not be an expert in any one field. I'm not an expert in any one field, um, but my goal is to really identify who those experts are and be able to connect our cities with those experts and um, really help see them achieve uh, the specific goals and steps that they're looking to achieve in their communities. And uh, I think it's an exciting time and we're seeing more cities join the program pretty much every day now and uh, happy to be a part of it. <laughs>